Back to Studio 33 Art by K. Recently, I've been inspired on YouTube by Camille Amoy Art. She does the most beautiful flowers that look like dahlias um, using a spoon. And I haven't had to try it this yet, but I thought I'll try it on a very small um, scale using this little tile, which is um, 10, sorry, 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. Um, and I'm just going to use this little mini plastic spoon. She normally uses a larger spoon um, because hers are on a much larger scale. But I thought I'd just try a little mini one and see how I go. So this is just a ceramic tile, um, which you just prepare by wiping it over with some isopropyl alcohol. And the colour I'm going to lay as my base is the Araldo Di Piolo Metallic Pearl mixed with white. So it's got a slight pearlescent effect to it. I don't expect we'll see too much of that um, once I've laid the flower. So I'm just going to do a, a coat of it just so that there's a base underneath and also something around the edges for this um, flower. And I'm going to be today using the Araldo Di Piolo there Neon Pink, which is a really ultra bright pink. Um, I believe it would um, glow under a black light. I don't actually have a black light, so I don't know. Um, I can't prove that, but I do believe that that is the case. So I'm just putting my base down and it's got lots of bubbles in it because I've only just mixed it. But to get rid of those bubbles, I'll just hit it with the um, heat embossing tool, which is one of these. So this just um, puts out heat and burst the bubbles. It can also be used to um, bring up more cells as well because it breaks the surface tension of the paint, allowing the cells to be created. So what I'm going to do, Camille puts a circle and does the outer layer, then another circle and then does the next layer and so on. So I haven't got my paints in a squeezy bottle because um, I've got this beautiful, as I say, the neon pink. I've mixed with Floetrol and I've made it quite a thick consistency. As you can see, it's definitely a mound on a mound. I've made it quite thick. So hopefully I can get a circle out of this. With a bit of luck. So I'm doing this on such a small scale, it's hard to know how this will turn out, but I was thinking it would make beautiful coasters if it does. So we'll give it a go. In for a penny, in for a pound, as the old saying used to go. It's not a very good circle. I would be better off with them in the squeezy tube. I'm going to add to that some of my Montmartre Pouring Paint Gold. Um, so I'm just going to Put that in the circle around as well. And then I'm going to add to that some of the global black paint mixed together with Australian Flow Troll um, to make a cell activator. So I just want some of these petals to have a fair bit of lacing on them. Um, let's see if I can actually get this to drizzle for me. Okay, whoops, right, so now I just get the little spoon, and I haven't done this before as I say, so who knows how this will turn out, but we'll give it a go. So you're just basically swiping, like that. And I guess I'll need to keep my little spoon uh, clean between swipes. Otherwise it would become muddy. Looks like my gold's taken over and I can't see too much pink. Oops, my petals are getting a bit bigger as I go. Let's 
may have been easier to have actually done this on the um, turntable actually. Oops. This is definitely harder than it looks. All right, well, with the next round, I'm not going to put um, the gold on there because it's definitely taken over. So I'll do another round of the pink on the inside of all of that. Make sure I've got enough paint on there to swipe. Okay, so I just keep swiping. Now, the next time you swipe, you swipe in between the other petals. And probably shouldn't go as far as them either. Just to get that second layer. Definitely should have my turntable here. In fact, I'm going to go and get it. That's better. Now I can turn that as I go, which will be make much easier. Well, so far this is looking nothing like what Camille does. But we'll keep on pushing on because you never know what I'm going to end up with really.
So now in the center of all that, I'm going to put some cell activator and put a little bit of the pink actually first. I'll load it up with a bit of pink. Then a bit of cell activator. And because this has turned out nothing like how I set out to do it, I'm now going to use my heat tool just to blow that out a little bit as if I was doing a bloom. Let that settle back into the middle. And then I'm going to give it a little spin. And just see what we get. As I say, nothing like what I um, intended in the beginning. So I'm just going to pop that in the middle of my turntable. Move my paints out of the way. So I don't have any major accidents. Now I'm just going to spin it. Well, I'm loving how I've got the different layers here. That's great. And the centerpiece is so space-like. Some lovely lacing here. It's really um, quite different. So I'm going to give it a little tilt just to get the, oh, and I might just spin it one more time, actually, just trying to get the paint over the edges. <laughs> The design of that is um, pretty amazing, actually. We got all this layering where I did the layers there around the edges. It's quite spectacular. So totally by accident, but that's um, what fluid art is, art by accident. And I'm thinking that's pretty amazing. So I just want the paint to come over the edges. I'm just going to tilt it very slightly just to get that happen if I can. I don't want to wreck, no actually I don't want to wreck the pattern too much. I'll just spin it one more time. I'm really not a big fan of tilting because I think it just sort of distorts so much, which is often what you're after, of course, but um, in this case, I wasn't. So now I'm just making sure my edges are all covered. Um, I don't like this, so I'm just going to get some paint from here and just finger pop that. And same around the corner here, just fill in the gaps. The side looks pretty good, a little bit there. So it's as easy as that. You just really pick up a bit of paint off the off the um, turntable there, and and uh, make sure that you've got you know coverage over all your edges. So there it is, guys. Um, very, very, very different, and inspired, as I say, by Camille, but ended up nothing like it. But I'm still loving this sort of layered effect that I've got. Um, so I'll bring you down for a close up. 
So here we are with this fabulous little tile that um, was supposed to look like a dahlia and is nothing like that at all. But where I did layer the paints like that, it's given me these beautiful layers here that I wouldn't have been able to get those any other way. So I'm gonna have another go at doing this exact same thing again, um, just to get that layered effect and then blowing the center out like a bloom. But having those um, layered edges like we've got there. And of course the dark center with the bright, bright pink, neon pink actually coming through with those little cells and all the other lovely cells there as well created by the um, global black cell activator i do find the global and also the Rialdo blacks do give just as good a cells as the amsterdam so um, they're all excellent i like them all so there you are guys hope you enjoyed that um, it's worth having a go i'm going to have another go at doing something similar just to get that sort of layered effect and hopefully eventually i will um, be able to get something to look even remotely like what camille does Okay, so I'll see you back here in Studio 33 in the not too distant future. Until then, stay safe. Bye bye.